Hi, second grade artists. Today we're gonna to use those skills that we learned last week on how to draw people using shapes to do today's lesson. We're going to learn how to draw a comic strip. We'll talk about it a little more in a minute, but think about what you wanna put in your comic strip. Do you wanna advertise something? Do you want to um, just create a day by day little thing? So I'm gonna show you some images of comic strips and then we're gonna get our materials and get started. I'm ready to get started. So comic strips are really cool because they tell a story. If you've ever seen one, um, a comic book, or you can even do it any way that you want to. Um, the artists that create movies and commercials, they always do um, like comic strips as well to tell their story before they do it, right? It's like their plan of what they're gonna do for their movie or scenes and we also can call them frames each one would be a frame that tells a story right so i'm going to fold my paper in half we're going to make six okay fold my paper in half like this so that this way i can kind of measure i'm not going to use a ruler i'm just going to freehand it we're going to do six squares rectangles boxes whatever you want to whatever you want to put and so when you tell the story um, comic strips usually, well, sometimes we'll tell the story without words, which is really cool because we are looking at drawings. Sometimes we need to add words. So really think about what are you going to do for your um, comic strip idea? Are you going to tell a story? Are you going to advertise for a commercial? Are you going to show um, maybe how something grows? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show just very simple, a flower growing. You can use people. Uh, like we learned how to draw last time. You can use objects, whatever you like. So I'm gonna start here and I'm gonna draw um, this girl. Okay, and just working with my shapes like we learned last time. And she's kneeling. And she is planting some seeds. Doesn't have to be perfect. Most of the time when um, artists do comic strips for telling a story or practicing, um, it doesn't have to be perfect, right? So here's our dirt and she's planting the seeds and it's sunny, right? So that's my first frame. So this is what's happening here. And the next one, I'm gonna keep the dirt and the grass. And oh, now, it's cloudy and it's raining. So what's happening when it's raining? My seeds are getting wet, right? And that's the next scene. And then the next one, oh, the sun's out. You can also label them too. So maybe I'll do one, two, so that you can see the order, three, four, five, six, okay? In this next one, again, I have my dirt, but, oh, and the sun's here, but it's starting to come out now. It's growing a little bit. Because that rain and that sun helped out and it's growing a little bit. Next one. The sun is out again and it's growing some more. And then in number five, it's still sunny, and it's really growing now. It's coming out. Not, but not quite there just yet, right? Then in the last one, still sunny. Here's our dirt. And now in this one, our plant has grown all the way up. And 
here's our girl. She's back again and she's very excited. Now, if you use a pencil, you can erase, um, you know, what I just did there. Yay! 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 She, she's so happy. Okay? So even if I didn't tell you what this, what's going on here, you can see in frame one, something's being planted in the ground. I'm not going to color it because it'll take too long. So I want to see what you're going to do and you can add color to yours or you don't have to. It's more about drawing and telling the story. She's planting her seeds and you can see in frame two, it's raining on the seeds and, and the plant start, the flower starts to grow in each frame and at the end it's the biggest it can get. Okay, so I can't wait to see what you come up with. Don't forget to send me a picture. Thanks, bye-bye.